Hey guys, what's up? I said to try and hear from One Hive Gazette here with a long war recap video of the last arranged war uh, that I've been talking about, and you guys saw a live attack from this as well. Uh, so I wanted to make sure I had some good coverage of this war because it was a fun one against One Hive Invicta. Uh, just a quick look at it. They actually struggled with some of our Town Hall 9s. Um, everything else was to be started below that, but some of the top 9s got away and then they weren't able to get any of our Town Hall 10s three stars, so that was basically the difference. You can see they had 99%, 95, 99 on me, so very close, and then they also had a 97% there. So they actually weren't that far behind, even though the uh, the stars are a lot different. If, if those four attacks that I tapped on had been three stars, this would have been a tied uh, war, so, or at least tied in stars. I, I don't know the percentage. Um, looks like they actually had us on percentage, so yeah. Um, they would have won that war, but anyway, that's how wars kind of work, and uh, we have the three-star by um, Erotic taking out number three, and actually number four had the same base, but different CC troops, and that, the one attack that worked on three uh, wasn't able to get the job done on a four, I think, um, even though they had the same base, which was kind of interesting, so I want to take a look at a few attacks today. I want to show the uh, Town Hall 10 three-star, obviously, um, starting off with a Gola Loon. So, um, basically the only really way to 3-star a uh, high-level Town Hall 10, um, and this is the base that was used twice by One Hive Invicta, so I'm not sure why they decided to do that, but they didn't pay for it too much because the 3-star wasn't able to be duplicated, like I said, on the exact same base. Um, but anyway, it starts off with the Queen, 4 healers I think, drop some Wizards to create the Fuddle. Not really a queen walk, just kind of a queen push almost, just entering the base right here. Uh, drops down the king. I don't think the queen actually jumps the wall right here. Um, so he kind of ends up just beating on a wall. Uh, uses the ability, but doesn't get a whole lot out of the king. Um, he goes down pretty quickly to those CC troops. Uh, but has the rage. The healer is barely in the rage. Uh, maybe could have uh, dropped that rage in a little more of a uh, friendly spot for the healers. But they're able to get into it. And you can see they're healing up the queen. She's doing a nice job here, and she's going to actually get in and take out both air defenses. Um, so steps up, takes out that altar. Um, and then just a moment, I think she has to get to the town hall as well. So um, takes a little while, but uh, nothing's really shooting her right now uh, besides just a few mortars. So uh, she takes down that town hall. We'll fast forward as she does that. All right, and right here, she locks onto that air defense, uh, gets it taken out. So two air defenses, the queen um, gets some... Um, Archer towers and a wizard tower, so pretty good value for this queen. And then you can see comes in here with the La Lune portion of the attack. Now both Infernos are still up, but has these two nice free spells. Uh, gets the air defense, expo, Inferno tower, and Tesla all frozen. Um, so that makes a huge difference. Has these haste spells to move the balloon, balloons along. A rage to kind of get them to cut across the base. It has another freeze, actually misses the Inferno Tower, but the balloons are on it, and it goes down, and the air defense is frozen, so that helps. The Queen actually beat through that wall, so she is still part of the attack. I'm taking out more buildings, shoots down that Archer Tower, and this base is pretty much done. Um, crushed it, has a ton of balloons left, still has three balloons not yet deployed, so just absolutely destroyed the space. He just drops these balloons for cleanup, um, and it was surprising to me that uh, we weren't able to kind of duplicate the success on the other base that had the same layout. There was a Lava Hound in the CC of the other one, so that made a difference. Uh, but for whatever reason, we weren't able to quite get the other one done, but very nice attack still, um, so nice job. All right, we're gonna take a look at number six now, going down to some Town Hall 9 action. And I apologize, there weren't any Town Hall 8s. That's just kind of how it worked out. So um, not much you can do about it. Uh, I think the game's kind of shifting away from Town Hall 8s a little bit. And we're not really seeing them in our arranged wars, um, I guess just because uh, it, with the new update, it's really a lot less balanced. Even Town Hall 9 is not the best um, as far as game balancing goes anymore. So uh, if I get some more Town Hall 8s, uh, I'll be sure to show those. But obviously in, in the normal wars, we have 8s. Um, so I'll show the attacks in the regular war recaps for the Town Hall 8s. But uh, only Town Hall 9s from here on out in this war recap. Anyway, though, um, Devil 7 does a very nice hog attack. I believe it was all four single bombs. And when you, when you see that, you have the option of just doing a mass hog. It brings, um, what, 36, 
I think up maybe up to 40 hogs because uh, he deployed a few uh, beforehand and then all four heal spells so just a huge investment in his hogs and just well, there was a double giant bomb set but he was able to trigger it with just uh, CC four hogs and a heal spell so that's a pretty solid trade gets a few defenses in that double bomb trigger uh, comes in with the king a few wall breakers uh, they go ahead and bust in and they're going to get in there and take out both heroes plus a few point defense a pretty good value uh, for that and the queen obviously uh, has her healers taken out uh, but she's still backing up the king and gonna get, get some value out of her too um, so they make their way through this compartment and then comes in with the hogs while the king's still tanking so very nice there uh, has the heal spell maybe didn't even need that because everything was kind of focused on the king and the barbarians uh, but has the heal anyway and can get those hogs at full health as they move through the base comes in at the bottom here with more hogs and a heal spell and he has so many hogs that he doesn't even have to keep them uh, grouped up in any kind of uh, reinforcement type fashion he can just kind of deploy them in all different spots around the base has that last heal for spell for the giant bombs there and has the poison for the skellies so very very nice attack here as these hogs take out that last uh, wizard tower has a ton of them left over I'd say like 15 hogs left over um, so they're going to go in ahead and take out the last few buildings still has both his heroes up so absolutely crush this base and very nice we usually don't see like suicide hogs at town hall 9 uh, but I like the uh, CC of Hogs just to trigger that giant bomb, uh, the double set right there. So, very nice. Alright, we're also going to take a look at number 9, Astronaut. Um, coming in here with a nice attack. And this one uh, actually was very, very cool. Um, I've never seen a queen walk this big before. Uh, it was just crazy. You guys will see what I mean here. But his queen is literally going to walk from one side of the base out the other side. Um, it's just insane. Anyway though, starts off the queen at the right side, uh, drops a hog on the archer tower, very nice there, uh, gets a free building taken out, has the funnel by the wizards on the other side, comes in with a giant and a few wall breakers, gonna let her t uh, enter the base. Um, CC troops come out, has two poisons for them, and he uses the ability here, I don't know if the ability was needed, um, both those poisons are gonna take out the balloons very quickly. Uh, but I guess the queen was getting kind of low on health. That dragon uh, was getting her pretty low, so I guess the ability was justified there. And uh, another thing on this attack is, guys, watch how he deploys the rage spells. The rage spells are different than the queen's ability. In the on a queen walk, um, the ability immediately gets the queen uh, the damage off her, so you can get her very low and use the ability. But for the rage spells, there's a delay from where you drop it to where it actually affects the healers. So when you drop the spell, you see the little icon of the spell dropping, and it takes maybe two seconds for the spell to drop, the healers to get raged up, and then to actually start healing, healing the queen up quicker than before. So get those rage spells down early. Uh, you can see the queen, once she gets to about half health here, he goes ahead and drops that uh, second rage, and that's needed because if you, if you wait too long, um, even if you drop the rage before the queen dies, uh, it takes a, a delay before it affects the healers. So get those rages down early if you're using them on your queen walk. Anyway though, you can see what I mean is she's going to beat through this wall and uh, continue into the core of the base. Coming in at the top left here with uh, some golems, king, a few wizards, just to get in there and take out the queen. Um, and you can look at his queen. He drops a jump spell and the queen actually takes it and walks into the compartment with the kill squad. Uh, very interesting here. There goes the jump. Um, but the queen's going to actually take the jump right here and move into that compartment. So she basically uh, makes the kill squad not take the jump because she clears out everything that they would be going to. Um, so you can see the golem actually walks up here. But a very weird kind of way this worked out. But also very nice. Both uh, heroes at full health, the golem at full health, coming in with the hogs. And there's very there's only a very, very small portion of this base even left. Um, there's a giant bomb there but has the heal and then these hogs will take out the skellies they they really didn't even have to take out any uh, real portion of the base just a little small section on the left was the only thing left um, obviously they hit a giant bomb here but the healers get back on the hogs and get them back to full health uh, which is real nice the healers at full health uh, just everything doing great here obviously time was an issue because the queen walk was so long and watching this live it actually got down to the wire but it had about five seconds to spare or so uh, gets in there and takes out the last uh, storage, gets the three stars, so a very cool attack, that was a huge queen walk, uh, fun one to watch. 
All right, and to look at one more, actually number seven, I actually went out of order. And I know these are all kind of the high level Town Hall 9s, uh, but these work at town at the lower Town Hall 9 levels, uh, basically just with lower level heroes and then lower level defenses. So um, don't think that just because I show all the high level Town Hall 9s uh, means that these don't apply to lower Town Hall 9s, um, but just it's proportional. If you have Town Hall 8 level defenses, the heroes might be 15-15. Um, instead of 30-30 on these max bases. So um, I just like showing the max Town Hall 9s because it shows that it works throughout the entire uh, Town Hall 9 level. It doesn't just work for lower Town Hall 9s, um, but it applies to all Town Hall 9 levels, like I said. Uh, anyway, though, I wanted to show an air attack. Uh, 007 doing a very nice dragon attack here, so it starts off with the queen walk, uh, goes ahead and takes out the enemy queen, and then continues his walk onto the right side. Dropping some wall breakers to let everything on in, or let the queen on into the uh, compartment right there. You can see the expos on her, but that's enough, uh, not enough for the healers to not be able to keep up with, so they keep her healed up. And then right here, she steps up and takes out um, the expo in just a moment. She makes her way around. There she goes, um, gets the expo, and then here come the CC troops. Has a rage because, um, yeah, expos goes down, fortunately, and then the rage uh, to keep her up. Unfortunately, there was a P.E.K.K.A. in the CC, so kind of has to. You have to use the ability as well. When it's a max P.E.K.K.A., it has too much damage even for the Rage healers. So has to use the ability and the Rage there, but um, no big deal. The Queen's still up, which is the only important thing. Uh, the air defense does get on those healers, and uh, the ability's gone, so can't speed her up. But she gets that air defense, and that's really her only job. She got two air defenses and the Queen, so very good value from the Queen walk. Then the king on the left side there, just a few wall breakers. He gets in and takes out the third air defense. So there's really only one air defense left. And has plenty of dragons to get the job done. Uh, just dropping them all on the bottom left here, letting them work their way through. Obviously that air sweeper is a bit of a nuisance against dragons, but the rage helps them keep up and uh, combat that air sweeper. Queen's still walking around, getting great value for her. Um, she's taking out a very big section of this base on her own. And then here comes a Lava Hound, just a tank for that air defense. Perfect timing right before the air defense locked on to the dragons. Uh, the Lava Hound comes in and it busts right before the dragons get there. So great timing and great planning on the, on the Lava Hound. So you can see this dragon gets on it right as the Lava Hound busts. So it gets those pups for cleanup. And then it has a ton of dragons left over. Uh, I think I count five dragons. So huge, uh, huge wreckage on this base. Just destroyed it. Um, has the queen at full health with all her healers, um, so very excellent job to 007. Uh, but that's it for this war recap. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, drop a like if you did, and then uh, drop a comment if you want to uh, let me know anything. That's how you can get in touch with me, is the comment section. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for this war recap. Good job to One Hive Invicta. Uh, it was a fun war, and um, a lot closer than the score shows. Uh, they were very close to getting a lot of those Town Hall 9 bases. Um, and especially that Town Hall 10 had a very close to a 3-star on that. So good job at both sides. Very fun doing a uh, scrimmage between two of the One Hive clans. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And until my next one, I'll see you guys later. Bisectatron out.